Hey, welcome back. Okay, now that we have the power of the symbolic solver, uh, I'm going to throw it, uh, a slight quirk in it. We're going to do both uh, numeric and uh, symbolic uh, solutions together. We're going to do it in the area of calculus. So just basic calculus functions using MathCAD in both the numerical side as well as the uh, symbolic side. So let's start off uh, easy with uh, differentiation, numerical differentiation. Uh, so I'm just going to uh, come down to my screen here and I'm going to start by defining a value for x. So I'm just going to call it x equals 2. And then I'm going to demonstrate our differentiation. Uh, so we go up to our operators and we see under calculus we have d by dx, so differentiation or derivative. So I'm going to start that and you see it brings up the template. So I'm going to give an equation for that I want to be differentiated. So I'm going to go x squared and I'm going to hit my equal sign. Oh, missing terms. Well, of course, it helps to put in that it's by x and we get a value of 4. Numerical differentiation. It has an equation, the, the variables are defined, and it gives you a solution for it. That's pretty straightforward. Now we can do this uh, in the form of using the function capability as well. So if we go f at x, in this case, well, we'll make it something a little bit more, um, uh, I don't know, interesting. So let's go x cubed uh, plus 3x squared. Uh, plus 4x minus 2. So we have a function now. And so if we want to take the derivative of that function, uh, let's set a new value or a new variable g. And we want it to be equal to, and we'll go up and we'll get our operator in here. And you can see it's control shift D is the uh, shortcut if you want to use it. So again, we're differentiating with respect to X. We'll put it in and we're going to do F at X and hit equal sign. And we get a value of 28. So happy. Uh, other ways that we can engage it if we want to do um, F prime at X equals and we get 28 and remember in all that case we knew we had a value of x equals 2. So that's pretty straightforward numerical differentiation easy to do you, you see where the uh, operators are uh, easy to bring down easy to fill out uh, so let's make it just a little bit more interesting let's look at how it does it symbolically okay so i've got a function already defined it, didn't want to retype it. Uh, I did clear x, so x is undefined uh, at this stage. And what I want to do is get the derivative of that. So I'm going to go up to my operators. Again, I'm going to bring the, the derivative function down. It's going to be with respect to x. Let me just copy this and put it into here and just to save a little bit of time typing. In this case, I'm going to engage the symbolic solver. So control period, and it gives us the derivative of the uh, equation, which is great. It's uh, often uh, good to have. Now, you don't have to do it in individual steps and go through a whole bunch of, of effort. If you want to go through successive derivatives, you can easily do that. So once again, I'm going to bring down my operator. Only in this case, it's going to be the second. Oh, didn't quite get that. Get in there. It's the direct second derivative, and we're gonna do our symbolic solver, and we get the second derivative. And just as we would do for all our beam equations, let's do. Let's get the third one. So we're gonna do Control C, Control V. In this case. I'm going to do the third derivative, and we get it down to equal to x. Or, sorry, equal to 6, uh, which is great. And just for a different nomenclature, so if we're starting here, uh, and we want to go to f, uh, that's the uh, control um, apostrophe. He uh, gets us that one uh, at x, and we're going to engage the symbolic solver in this case and we get the value there. 
and so that works. That's a nice way to do it. Um, and if we want to do it again, I'm going to hit it twice. Control uh, apostrophe, control apostrophe at X. Uh, get outside the equation and hit my control period. And we get the second derivative. And of course, if we do that one more time, we're going to match our other side. And we're going to get the third derivative. So I'm going to copy it down here. I'm going to jump in here hit it one more time, and we get the resolution of that. Now, the symbolic solver, like we saw in the other tutorial, if the x variable was defined, so I'm going to make it equal to 2, sorry, equal to 2, and I were to take my solution here, and I'm just going to copy and paste it down here, you will see that it comes and gives us a solution, a numerical solution for it, because the variable is defined, despite engaging the symbolic solver. So, you know, as we pointed out in the symbolic solver tutorial, you just want to keep that in mind. So let's close that, and let's quickly look at integration. And we're going to start with numerical integration. So we'll come up, fill out a, a fairly straightforward, benign uh, problem like we did before and just see that it works and how it works. So we're going to go up here. We're going to bring up our integral, control shift. I can't even see what that is. I don't have my glasses on. Sorry about that. I'll have to look it up. And, and we have our equation to, to resolve. So in this case, I'm going to do x squared, x squared, dx, and resolve that between, say, 1 and 5. And go over here, and I'm going to engage my symbolic solver just to get it into a fraction format, just to show what it does. But of course, what we would normally do is we just hit our equal sign, and we get a decimal value for that. So it uh, works great. We, we can resolve our, our numerical integrations uh, without too much problem. Again, you want to do it in a function format. Uh, uh, sorry, what am I doing here? You want to uh, engage your numerical integrations where you have a functions defined. So if you have a function in x uh, defined as x squared, oh, x squared, and you want to get a value g, which is equal to, and now we'll go for our operators, the integral uh, from 1 to 5 of f at x, x, and we get the same value of 41.333, as you would expect. So it just gives you a little bit of uh, opportunity to, to uh, um, build your spreadsheet the way it works best for you. And, and so finally, uh, the last thing I want to do before getting out of this tutorial is to look at symbolic integration. We looked at uh, symbolic uh, derivation. It works very much the same thing. First thing I did is I cleared my variable x so, so that we know that it is not defined as we know the symbolic solver responds differently if your variable is defined or not. And we're going to build ourselves uh, a function. So bring up our operator, bring up the integral sign, and it's not a numerical, so I don't have values 1 to 5. So I'm going to build a function here. So 3 uh, x squared minus no, minus, mm, I'm all ahead of myself here, minus 9x minus 9, and we do that dx. If I were to engage this symbolic solver, it would come back with a equation for our integral, which is great. And again, as we saw with the, the, the uh, different, uh, differentiation, we can do that using the functions uh, in MathCAD. So if we have a function, f at x uh, equal to, and I'm just going to copy this function, 
down here. So if we have a function, and now we want to do our integral, and we put f at x in here, and we do it with respect to x, and we hit our symbolic solution, we will get our symbolic solution. And had we not cleared x, and x had a value, I think the one we've been using up until now was 2, we put in x equals 2, and we do the same thing, copy, oops, copy, paste, and we get a numerical solution to the equation because the uh, variable is defined. So that's calculus, both symbolically and numerically within the MathCAD environment. Uh, really useful tools, fairly straightforward to use, uh, and, and they can save you a lot of heartache, uh, particularly if you keep struggling over uh, you know, a differentiation or an integral uh, as you're going along. So I uh, hope that is helpful. Uh, good luck with, uh, with, with all of that.